Hi guys, I'm doing this video on an upcoming airdrop, which is the Boba Network. So um, this video will run you through a little bit of detail on that and how to actually set yourself up so that you may receive that. My name is Michael and I use my skills and experience as an ex-developer, tech entrepreneur, investor, and trader to bring you non-hyped information on how to generate profit and create wealth from cryptocurrency investing. So if you're keen to learn how to benefit from what I believe is the greatest investment opportunity of our lifetime, then like my video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell to know when I put out a new video. So we can see here Boba Network on, on the layer twos has had a heap of liquidity go into it recently. This was like way down in the last few days it's come way up because there's an announcement of an airdrop. So this is the announcement here. You can see the website here and the important thing to highlight is here. In support of the Boba Network, OMG Foundation is releasing a new governance token for the platform Boba. Boba tokens will be airdropped to existing OMG token holders who have bridged their OMG tokens to Boba Network by a snapshot later next month. Now, if you click on airdrop up here, they have got a little bit more information on it um, that it is going to be a snapshot on November 12th. So it is still a month away, um, but you know we're getting a little bit early and, and having that in there. Um, and yeah, there's some information here just on bridging it and whatnot. So basically, um, the, the OMG network, it had a big push. This is the 24 hour chart. We can see that when this got announced, there was a big push and it has pulled back a little bit. So I've just used that opportunity just to, just to grab um, $500 or so of OMG. And in terms of where you can get OMG, it's pretty freely available, Binance, Bitfinex, FTX, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Once you have that, you go to gateway.boba.network. Okay, this is the bridge uh, in order to connect to Boba. So we can go connect, click on that, put our MetaMask address in and click connect. And this is it here now. And we'll see here in the list, I've got, I've got USDC and I've got 24.26 Boba, which is roughly just over $500 um, USD. So we can click here on bridge we can go, um, we've got a bridge, classic bridge. Okay, so the classic says that it's always available, but in general is a little bit more expensive than the swap based system, which is the fast bridge. The fast bridge says the swap based bridge is option is only available if there is enough liquidity in the pools. Okay, so we'll try that. So let's go fast bridge to L2. We're going to use all of that and click bridge. There will be an Ethereum fee in order to push this across. Well, first we need to uh, allow it to spend the OMG and then I imagine there'll be a second transaction after that in order to uh, in order to, to send the actual amount across. Okay, so that took about a minute and a half and then we have the um, the gas fee in order to actually send it across. It's about $60 currently. There you go, it's down to 54 so we'll take advantage of that little drop. Okay, the next thing I can see here is this note here that says balance altering transaction in progress. Please be patient. So we will also wait for that to go through. Okay, great, that didn't take too long and now we can see that our ONG tokens are here inside Boba Layer 2. Okay, one thing I've noticed here is we've got uh, Layer 1 to Layer 2. It looks like Layer 1 has selected. So I think we might just see if we can go to Layer 2 and see what happens there. This site, yeah, that's okay. Just adding this site, uh, Boba Layer 2, that's cool. So we'll switch network. Okay, now we're on uh, Layer 2. Okay, so now under Earn, so if you go to the Layer 2 liquidity pool up here, then we'll see that there's a 2% APY, and we can click on this, click Stake, and we see now that our balance is there. So that's how we do it. We do Use All, Approve the Amount, and we'll just see if we can bridge just a little bit of ETH over. So you're on layer two, switch to layer one. So we'll go ahead here and switch to layer one. And I'm just gonna bridge over a small amount of ETH just to cover fees uh, inside the layer two. So we'll go ahead and do a fast bridge. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna move about $500 over because I've noticed they've got um, NFTs and stuff like that. So I might have a bit of a play on their network. So let's bridge across um, a little bit more than I was going to initially. Got the fee there, which is fairly low now at $40. So we'll go ahead and we'll process that. 
Again, we get this message here saying balance altering transaction in process. So we just wait for that to go through. Now we can see that that has been successfully bridged over. So we'll go back to the layer two. And let's go see if we can now stake that uh, those OMG tokens. Go ahead and approve that, see if we can afford the transaction now. Yeah, looks good. I wonder if we can just have, have a play and see if we can even reduce that fee a little bit, see what happens. Uh, okay, now it looks like, uh, okay, so the price must be at least this amount. So that didn't, didn't go through, so that's all good. We can approve now. Make sure that that's set properly, looks okay. $3 and that's been approved. But then I didn't stake straight away and it's asking me to approve again. So when you do this, just make sure that you, when you approve, you confirm it and you just leave this screen up and you'll see it'll approve and then it says stake. So you pretty much just hit stake after that and there'll be another small fee for that, I imagine. Um, looks like a pretty small amount, 0 0.0032. So we'll go ahead and confirm that. And then it says here, and now we've got our OMG staked at 24.23. And then if you wanted to remove it, you'd hit this little minus and go confirm and then approve this transaction. And that's how you would take it out, which I'm not going to do at the moment. I'm going to leave that in there. And we'll just see if there's anything else. Um, so nothing on the NFTs, nothing really under the DAO. So that's probably all we, we need, really need to do for now. Um, yeah, so that's it. So that's all you need to do in order to qualify yourself for the airdrop. Also, if you did like this video, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel so you can receive all the future videos. Okay, thank you.